Hi, I'm Chris Thrash. I'm 32 years old. Back when I was seven years old, this rock fire explosion band played in a pizza restaurant called Showbiz Pizza Place. I became a really big fan of the magic of the show, and uh, Chuck E. Cheese took over the show in the middle, in the early to mid 90s. And uh, I wasn't a big fan of Chuck E. Cheese because their concept was for a younger age than what I was. So one thing led to another. I found out that. Uh, creative engineering that, that made the characters are still open for business. They had a few shows left and after about a year persuaded Aaron Fector, the owner of Creative Engineering, to uh, sell me the show. And uh, you know, here we are now. When I first got the show, the show was really for me. I wanted it where Showbiz Pizza Place can never be took away from me again because it was always going to be mine. And that was all I was really interested in. And uh, when I started making my own shows and putting them on YouTube, it was just something for fun, you know, let the other fans uh, that was already a fan of the Rock of Fire, let them see them, you know, and give their opinion. Next thing I know is it's blowing up. Everybody's interested in it. Had no idea. There's been a lot of rumors that, you know, that the, uh, the audio tells one thing to do. You know, like the toys you see in the store, the audio comes on and start moving. That is nothing like that. These, these characters will not move until you tell it to. There's a computer-based program that I have. It's not something you can buy in a store. It was created by, by some of us fans exclusively to program animatronic characters. And you do each and every movement. Like uh, Fats Geronimo, his keyboard. You know, I have to program his arms to go up and down and go across and make it look as if he's really playing the organ. And uh, then you make the facial expressions with the eyes, or if he's singing, then you got to program the mouth. Every little bitty thing you see, I programmed it manually. And it saves it, and you go back and back and back. Um, most of the time, you have to do almost 100 takes before you're done. I don't know where I'm going with, with, with any of this. You know, I bought the show just for me to have it. I never realized in my wildest dreams that they would be doing a documentary film. I never realized that y'all would be here in here today. Never crossed my mind. So I'm just riding and see where it goes. You know, let it take me where it wants to.